So friends, welcome back to our channel, Learn with Gigs. In this video, I will discuss with you two important Power BI interview questions which were recently asked at EXL Services, which is an analytics-based company. And these two questions were provided to me by one of my LinkedIn connections. I will show you in a few seconds. So these two questions can be easily asked in your data analyst Power BI interview store. So that's why I'm creating this video. So do watch this video completely till the end. Please like this video as it really motivates me to bring more valuable videos for you all. Subscribe to the channel if you are new it and you can also follow me on Instagram learn with gigs. All right. Now let's see those two questions which were shared to me. You can see the company name EXL services and this is the question number one. Let's suppose we have a sales table with four column given below. First one is date. Second one is product ID. Third one is product price and third fourth one is discount percent. And this is the sample values date 130 percent. How to calculate net sales with the discount? What is the catch over here is this discount percent you see the values are in percentage 30 percent 40 percent like this and the question number two is how to give power bear report access to user with different domain so we'll focus on both the questions one by one so let's start with the first question how to answer this so for that i will take you to power query editor in power query editor i have already created a data set similar to the requirement as i said discount percent column is not a straightforward column we, have, we need to play around with this particular column to finally generate our result for the net sales. First thing that will come into your mind is that the numbers are there with percentage. So what we can do, we can split by delimiter and we can extract the number from here. But I won't recommend you to go for a split by delimiter. Why? Because sometimes what can happen if suppose in the values, if somebody accidentally types 5 without any percentage sign or 10 without any percentage sign or any random value in that case your query will fail your transformation split by delimiter will not work for that particular record so in that sense split by delimiter is not the right option to go from here what is the alternate way so for that we will click on this particular column go to add column and choose column from example and from selection once you do this type 30 in the first row and just click outside as soon as you click outside, you see it automatically takes all the values for all the records 20, 10, 15, 5, 25. So after this, once you click over, click on OK. So this will generate you a separate column with all those numbers without percentage. Make it to a number column and rename it to discount percent. So now I have my required column, which will actually help me to, to calculate the net sales. Once I do this, go to home and click on choose and apply, close and apply basically. So my changes are getting applied. I'll go to my table view. This is my required column. Now what I will do, I'll go to home and create my new column. I just want to create a new calculated column here to show you how we can calculate the net sales. You can also do this through a measure. Let me know in the comment box what will be the code for a measure. I'm proceeding with a calculated column. I will name it as net sales. So what I will do, I'll click on one minus my discount percent column that I have just now created divided by 100 close into brackets and then multiply by my product price column that we have right we have product price column and click on enter so we can see on the screen after the discount this is the net sales for every date we have in this particular table on the report we can bring in the net sales column and put it into the card visual so 1377.5 is the overall net sales that we have achieved after selling the product so this is what you had to answer in front of the interviewer now let's move to the next question which is how to give power bi report access to your user with different domain so it's a very tricky question so first of all you have to say to the interviewer that it is very challenging to give access to any other user we can utilize publish to web option which is available on power bi service to share the report to the required user and to explain you the steps i will take you to the microsoft documentation so once you publish your power bi report from power bi desktop or power bi service on the power bi service you will have this particular option of file Go to embed report and choose this particular option publish to web. Once you click on this particular option, it will prompt you this particular screen which asks you, do you want to create an embed code? So you have to click on create embed code. And again, to create embed code, you have to first get the authority to from Power BI admin team. But assuming that you have already done that. So once you click on this, you will get an embed code. Again, it will throw you in a prompt which says once you published anyone on internet will be able to access. If you go ahead and click on publish, this is the required screen. 
and you will get a copy of the link and then you can share this particular link to that particular user but again this can create a problem it may go against you for example if somebody gets this link which is not of your organization and, and access this then it will be a point of data breach ideally this question shouldn't be asked but if it is asked you have to answer like this only data set link to practice this question is provided in the comment box of this video thank you